I've rearranged my EDIUS interface somewhat again, and in so doing, I've brought back the Info palette. And the reason is that we will need this, as I'm going to discuss effects. And I'm going to discuss effects in relation to audio clips. Especially with speech recordings, it can often be useful to adjust these afterwards in their sound. And to help with this, EDIUS 6 has various VST plugins that come with it, and these are supplied from Isotope. As mentioned, these are supplied with EDIUS 6. That means that smaller versions of EDIUS, for example Neo, may not have these filters. In this case, you would have to buy or use other filters that will perform the same function. Basically, we will find the audio filters here in the bin, under Effects, and then here in the separate category Audio Filter. I can select it, and then I can see some filters that are standard with EDIUS. These are EDIUS's own filters. But if I open this folder, then there is a subfolder. And in this subfolder, I can find the Isotope VST plugins. If you are using EDIUS 6 and you don't have this folder, then you may have forgotten to install it from the second DVD, as they are all found there. In this folder, we have a selection of filters that I don't really want to discuss in this course, but one that is very important and very interesting for us right now, I'd like to select. And that is the simple mastering effect. This is a very useful plugin when dealing with speech recordings, and I can use it by simply drag and dropping it onto my clip. In this case, my audio clip here. And now we can see in the info palette that this clip has the simple mastering effect applied to it. As is the case with video filters, we won't hear a difference until we have adjusted it. So I have to set up my effect first in order to hear any changes. This is an example for a voice over recording. And to do this, I can simply select the effect and use the Open Setup dialog button, or I can double click on it. The window opens, and we can see our VST effect. For the minute, it is somewhat larger than my recording area. I'll move the recording area somewhat so you can see that the window goes down a little bit. But everything that is interesting for us is actually in the upper section of the plugin. And so we'll go back to our standard recording area. If I now play EDIUS, I'll do this by clicking play in the timeline. This is an example for a voice over recording. Then I can see here in this display that the audio signal is actually playing. And I could adjust the settings in real time. As it's somewhat difficult to explain everything whilst playback is happening, I'll simply explain the details first and then later on show examples whilst it is playing. Basically, in this simple mastering plugin, we have various useful effects combined into one plugin. And the first one we come across is here, the equalizer. And with this, we can adjust the frequency spectrum of our signal. Then we have a reverb with which we could make our signal sound less dry. Then we have an exciter that will add overtones to our signal. This can be quite useful with speech as it can help to make it sound brighter and clearer. The next section is the widener section and this adds to the stereo width or diminishes the stereo width. This is not really interesting for spoken word. That's kind of useful for music. So in our case, this won't be very relevant. But what is very interesting and very relevant to us is the loudness maximizer. Especially when dealing with speech recordings, as is the case with our recording now, then this section of the plugin can make our speech sound even and loud and present. Basically, this will give us the effect of a radio or a professional recording. And then the output gain can be used to adjust the overall volume of our clip. We could also do this directly from within EDIUS, but it's nice to have it integrated within the plugin. I'd like to go back to the loudness maximizer now though. And we've seen that in EDIUS we have the normalize function and this acts statically on a clip. I set it and then the clip is adjusted to a new level. We can consider the loudness maximizer as doing a similar thing However, it works dynamically rather than statically. So what this means is that it can react to the audio signal. A quiet section of the audio signal will be raised quite strongly, 
and a louder section will be raised not quite so strongly, so that we end up with a much more even overall volume.